Hello people, welcome to Power Mac G5's Adventures episode 12, I believe this is. Today, the Ram arrived um, in this absolutely ridiculous packaging. Like, why is it so giant? And also, I find it funny because it's like low profile Ram, so it's even smaller than what you'd normally see. This is really weird, it's like clean film. That's what it's like packaged in. That's what it like feels like. Um, I'll probably have to rip it out because uh, oh, I've got it. Somehow I'm doing this one-handed. Boom, RAM. So this should be the correct RAM. It's just low profile variant. Let's blind. It doesn't actually say anything about the speed it doesn't say pc 4200 sorry my hands are really not still and the camera's not having it um but it does say <coughs> two gigs which is what i want i need to Move this slightly up. Wait, it's blocking my from accessing the machine. Yeah, I'm, I do need to pull tidy up a little bit under here because it's starting to get a bit messy. But here's the quad. I also need to sort of try and work out how to do this RAM configuration because problem is I've got. Two one gig sticks and then two T fifty six meg sticks. Um, also, I don't think this is plugged in. In power and maybe in the display. Yeah, not in the display. I can see there's literally nothing um, apart from the power cable in the display. So let's just get that hard drive off and push it's sort of backwards like that so I can see what I'm doing so I think what I'll do move these two rams up and then I think that's it and then just you know chuck the ram in the slot at the bottom right I think that's what I'd have to do. If this, if I had two sticks, which main reason why there's only one stick, um, is simply because it wasn't, it, there weren't any more in stock. Um. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, so, like this, I think. I need to get them in, of course. Um, which is a bit of a nightmare, because I can, I can't really see what I'm doing, to be honest. Um, so, I'll do this off camera. See you in a bit. Okay, in theory, it should be done. I need to just make, oh, yeah, all the clips are in. So, chuck in the fan. Um, it's a bit of dust there, I can see. Uh, I'll grab it. I can't grab it. Um, yeah, I can't grab it, unfortunately. But, let's get the fan in, wherever I put it, it's here. Um, that's upside down. Flip it in upside down. Put it in without much pain. Let's find out. Yeah, that's in. Nice. Uh, this is a bit risky. Um, what I'm doing. Uh, get out of the way. Um, oh, what's this not going in? 
Oh, oh there is that bit not being in properly. There you go. Um, oh, there's SATA power cables gone loose. Um, that's the problem. I think that means it's not able. Actually, I think I intentionally removed that, but not the point. There we go, it's now in the SATA power cable, so let's get this plugged in and see what happens. Hopefully, 2 gigs more of RAM, which would be 4.5 gigabytes of RAM. Okay, let's turn it on, fingers crossed. That means RAM configuration, not correct. So even if I've sent me the wrong RAM, it's mainly because of the RAM configuration. Um, blah, blah. Ugh. I mean, to be fair, this is an awkward RAM configuration, let's be real. Um, uh, uh. Okay. Um. It should probably be unplugged, so I'm not using it right now. Um, okay, so... I think it's just moaning about the way it's configured. So, I, will, I will say, I'm pretty sure the top one is the first slot. Maybe if I move... These two down, it would not complain. If I'm being honest, I don't actually know what you'd have your RAM configured if you had a weird configuration like this, which is really not helpful. I would thought you're able to have something like this where you've got only a single stick in one lot and then you don't have like any more matching stick um oh god go in go in oh this stick's been a nightmare there you go got it in cool i'm just gonna leave it on its side for now which might be a bit risky but oh go in And I don't hear a chime. I heard the chime. And now I should probably adjust my monitor because I have it rotated like this because I was trying to get the cable in. Uh, yeah. Oh. Okay, hopefully this is the correct configuration. Or it's going to say like 2 gigs or 2.5 gigs or something. I also need keyboard and mouse, so let's use this. The, the, the pro ones. Hopefully I'll be able to get more RAM for this um, soon. plugged in it's in tiger right now it doesn't really matter as long as it works it works um i don't like that sound if i'm being honest um oh god getting the table like that and then getting it plugged in like i think that's the USB, yeah, that's the USB. There we go. Um, let's get No. There we go. Yeah, it's saying two gigs. <sighs> mm. Okay. I want to say... There's not much 
I can do, but let's um, try and get this visualised on here um, with memory. So it's getting the... So Pally's detecting one gig sticks, but not the two gig sticks. The, well, the two gig stick. I was thinking it was detecting the two gig stick and the two two fifty six meg sticks. Hmm. Oh no. No, I think I see my mistake. I think I've bought the wrong RAM again. Where did I get that number from? Oh, I see 444. I'm assuming that means 444 megahertz um, sticks. I've got five faith three. <laughs> I know this definitely isn't a reliable, a very reliable source. But according to everymac.com, five faith three. I guess one way of testing it would literally just remove every single stick of RAM apart from the two gig. Um, but I don't know. How much G5 technical specifications? Um, is this for the models I got? Um, not those, they're not more than this, just it, this is just it. I think those are like the initial ones. See what Crucial says. I know they're going to be ridiculous in those price, but that's not the point. That's, um, yeah, no, no, they don't even say. Which is, then you say, oh yeah, it's DDR2. And of course, they've got storage if their website wants to work. Yeah. And then they say they don't have compatible ones. Absolute lie. Um. I see what this website says. Maybe I should zoom out. Confirm my choices. Yeah, that says 533. <laughs> so there shouldn't be reason why it shouldn't work. Unless it's also compatible with 444. And 4444 is it, it does not like mixing different speeds which very well could be exactly what's going on and you know what it probably is but this is an absolute nightmare because then that means i've got ram that i can't really use without having less ram as i can't really get more ram from cx which is basically dirt cheap source of ram because for some reason, RAM on like eBay are like way more expensive, like this RAM. And it's just like, oh. So I've basically got to wait until it's in stock. Hopefully I'll have money at the time, order it, um, and so on. Which, mm. But I'll just probably test that theory first before saying it. But I think that's what's going on. Um, if I can get off of this, shut down, 
Yeah, this is a really nightmare. Okay. And I shall try. Actually, I think I stand corrected because these are two gigs. It clearly says 533. I think it's these sticks that are actually causing issues. So, take those out of the equation. I should have six gigs of RAM. That's what should be happening. So, let's get this little stick out and move it be here, I believe. Um, do that. Ah, static. Don't worry. Not much more to do. <laughs> I did that the completely wrong way. That's the first. It's the first for everything. And. Oh, come on. No, it's the wrong way. Again. But. I really should probably unplug it because it's actually really bad. Um, slot operation. And now it should, in theory, work. Um, get the fan on and stuff. But in theory, There, it chimed. And then it beeps. <coughs> okay, so after we insert in the RAM, it's now chimed and it's showing the Apple logo up here. Now, theoretically, it should have six gigs of RAM. <coughs> uh -huh. Why is it doing this? It should all theoretically work without problems. It's still saying 444, so I don't know what's going on here. Um, what's causing this? I guess I'll go back to what I should probably do. Have literally just the stick I got today in here because I genuinely don't know what else to do so let's just drop it down gently open this up get the fan out um, so I don't think it being low profile would affect things, right? As long as it's, you know, the correct speed and whatnot, it should be fine. And it is, as far as I'm aware. Um, yeah, so, I believe I would need it. I'm pretty sure it's the top that's supposed to be it. Maybe I should try the bottom, but I don't think that solve things because it's still detecting these as one gig sticks even though these are definitely two gig sticks which is really really annoying yeah if this boots then I have like doesn't complain about this then I don't know what it is going on that's the truth uh. Okay. Okay. And it's big. <clears throat> So, I have no clue what's going on. If 
if I put just these sticks, would it still say two gigs? That's the question. Because it should be saying, you know, four gigs because they're two, two gig sticks. Ugh. Ugh. Like, why is this got to be so fucking annoying? In multiple ways. Also, annoyingly, this power cable, you need to press a button to release it. Which is why I've not actually unplugged it, by the way. Um, it's just too much effort. Um, I'm just trying not to touch the bit below because it's static. No, that was the correct way I'm an idiot. Um, in you go, you piece of... Uh. Okay, now will it boot? That's the question. Um, shut this back on. In you go, you piece of... Uh. Can you tell I'm getting really frustrated with this? Um, okay, on. I've like I've like, I've literally kept this at two times zoom. Come on, this bear work. This bear work. No, no beeping. So, should be turning on any moment. There you go. Okay, okay. How much RAM? Two gigs. What is wrong with this? Okay, so this is called scummy advertising business practice, whatever. It is truly scummy. So those are Kingston sticks. No, they say two gigs on them. But what they mean by two gigs is actually the total combined amount if you have the pair together. So those are four gig sticks. Those are both one gig sticks. But they're marked as Two gig sticks. That is, oh my God. So the RAM is correct. It is only one gig. Like one gig sticks. But that doesn't seem to solve the issue of the fact that they are appearing to be running at 4, 4, 4 megahertz. Which shouldn't be happening because it literally said 533 on the thing. And from my research, it should be 533 megahertz RAM. What on earth is going on with this? Let's just say I'm not happy. With this, because but I'm guessing this is a problem with the power back and not the RAM, but there's not really much way I could test it. I mean, I guess I could try my other quad, but yeah, it's just, as you might know, I've had no luck with that quad even booting into like Mac OS. Um, so I really don't know what to do. But I've put in the RAM that was in there. I've not actually put the 256 meg sticks there up there, but 
Yeah, I've I've sort of looked them up online, and that. Yeah, there there wasn't like oh yeah, this is EECC or anything. The specs like looked the same, you know. Specs that should just matter. So I have no clue why it's not working because it just should be working. Um, but yeah, there's the RAM. I guess that's going to be it for today. Really unsuccessful. Um, goodbye.